And it is Auckland who will have us underway, playing in the predominantly white strip from right to left, and it's the Brumbies in possession early on with the swift Tom Cox, and Tom Cox is going to make his mark right at the start of this final with a burst of speed that's left a vapour trail across the southwest London sky. I don't think we've seen that all day from anyone, the ACT Brumbies, with out and out pace. He seemed to have been locked away and covered, but my goodness me, we saw him from the, you see him end on here, we saw him from the side, he just accelerated away. They have been in largely defensive detail for much of this first half. A couple of minutes left, and they were nearly pierced for a second time there. Henry Spate just occupying a space, menacing the away to the right-hand side. Auckland have got some defenders covering him now. Etienne Oosthuizen, South African, who came to the Brumbies this year, rumbles forward with some menace. Here is Spate. Oh, goodness me, goodness me, he had no right to score that try, and he's taken two Auckland defenders over the line with him. Oosthuizen wasting no time going for the contact, managed to recycle the ball quickly, so he sucked in a few defenders. And then just switched the ball into the right hand, as Matt talked about earlier on, allowing, allowing him space just to put the left-hand fend on, which ultimately allowed him to score the try. Iona overthrowing a ball that I think was intended for space and needed some sweeping up as a result. Iona's there again. Backwards. And when Iona's had the ball robbed and Cali Hallett will have a run not only to the line but pretty much underneath the posts as well or as good as he can. And that might be a seven-point score and we've still got three and a half minutes to go in this final. Oh, look at that cheeky lol. Yeah. A, a cheeky little kick from an ace, uh, from an Auckland player out of Ioni's hands. Oh, naughty. Well, it looks like this game with, you know, just under three minutes to go is, is going to go right the way down to the wire. Spate up there challenging for the ball, but he's not got it. And this is going to be another score for Haller who single-handedly has turned this final on its head once again underneath the posts and Auckland is surely going to take the lead with three and a half minutes left. A defining moment, a stray boot in a ruck. Amazing, and from nowhere, Auckland, are, you know, are going to take the lead. This is Ai, the captain, was playing for New Zealand a long ago as 1999 and he's still going strong so you know we've talked about how good the act restart is but you've got to gather those kicks and Alla gobbled up the opportunity iona 60 seconds left colby feyinger man whose golden try saw off moscow right at the start of the day is there to be something equally dramatic in the remnants of this final. Here's the man who might provide it. Here's Henry Spate. And there, maybe, is the silverware for the Brumbies to take back with them. And the big, big star in the Brumbies team might have got them the big, big prize. Henry Spate. And may well have ended proceedings here at Twickenham. That is it. Confirmation. Tim Wigglesworth has blown the whistle. And in, um, well, as dramatic a circumstance as it gets, Matt, Henry Spate providing a moment of quality right at the end to snatch it for the Aussies. A team that have pretty much circumnavigated the globe in their love of rugby over the last few weeks have finished off with something to show for their travels. They beat Auckland in the final of the World Club Sevens by 17 points to 14. The hero right at the death, Henry Spin. The first World Club Sevens champions are Australians and they're the Aussie top dogs at the moment, ACT Brumbies.